So is the difference between a raw and a 9.8 CGC graded comic thousands and thousands of dollars? You'll be surprised. Find out in this video. Hey everybody, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today's a brand new series called What's the Difference? We take 20 random comics, we compare raw copies that have been sold that are high grade, potential 9.8 candidates, and we compare those to CGC 9.8 sold books, and we tell you exactly what the difference is. But first, if you're new to our channel, do me a favor, subscribe right now, it does help us out a lot, and also turn on that notification button, because you don't want to miss our next video. Obviously, we couldn't put this list together without some criteria, so let's go ahead and run that down and we'll tell you exactly what we're looking for. First off, we've taken 20 random books from multiple publishers. We've compared 9.8 CGC sold copies within the last 30 days. We compare that to raw copies that have the potential of a 9.8 high grade sold copies also within 30 days. Another thing we're gonna factor in is also the CGC cost to have a book graded. The average cost is around $45. We also verify this information from multiple sources. Now there are some other factors that I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out. We'll actually leave a link to CGC's website at the very bottom. There is different price structures that would affect different books, but you know what? You guys got that covered, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. And also at the end of this video, we're gonna add up the total value for raw and the total value for CGC 9.8. We're also gonna subtract the total for the shipping cost for the CGC GC cost will have a grand total difference between the two numbers. And just for an added bonus, we factored in 9.6 grades as well, and we'll tell you that total at the end, and trust me, there is a huge difference between a 9.8, 9.6, and a raw copy. All right, everybody, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the very first book very first book up on our list is Secret Wars number one, the iconic series brought to you by none other than Jim Shooter. Raw potential 9.8 candidates of this book sell for around $20. 9.8 CGC copies of this have sold for $150 within the last 30 days, a difference of $130. Moving on, the next book is Amazing Spider-Man number 129, the very first appearance of The Punisher. Raw copies of this potential 9.8 like we've said sell for $3,000 and CGC 9.8s of this book have recently sold for $13,000 a price difference of $10,000 moving on to the next book is Contest of Champions this is the very first limited series that Marvel put out and there's a few first appearances in this book raw copies of this book only sell for around $15 for a potential 9.8 and then we have CGC 9.8 copies of this sold recently for $120, a difference of $105. Next book up is Web of Spider-Man number one, the third ongoing series for Spider-Man and one of my favorite books, to be totally honest. Raw copies of this sell for 20 bucks. CGC copies of this 9.8 goodness sell for $105, a price difference of $85. Moving on to the next book, we have Captain America number 241. This is the very first battle between Captain America and the Punisher. He's making another appearance. Raw copies of this book sell for around $100, and then 9.8 CGC copies of this recently have sold for $470. You're looking at a $370 difference. Next book up is Spawn number nine, the first appearance of Angela. Raw copies of this book sell for around 20 bucks for a 9.8 candidate. And then 9.8 CGC copies of this book sold for $75 recently, a difference of $55, not tremendously large. Next book up, and honestly, kind of my inspiration for making this video, is Batman The Dark Knight Returns, number one. First print, one of my favorites. Raw copies of this book sell for around $70. If you got this graded and it came back at a 9.8, these ones sell for like $635, a price difference of $565 for this great book. Next one up is Transformers number one, the first appearance of Optimus Prime. Raw copies of this potential 9.8 book sell for around $75, and CGC 9.8s have recently sold for $700, a difference of $625. 
Up next is Black Hammer number one, brought to you by Dark Horse. This is one of their more popular titles. Raw copies of this book, first print, sell for around $40. 9.8 CGCs of this book have sold for $140 for a price difference of $100. Moving on to another DC book, we have Saga of the Swamp Thing, number 37, the first appearance of John Constantine. Raw copies of this book are pretty high at around $200 for a near mint potential 9.8. And then we have 9.8s right now selling for $680, a $480 difference. Next book up is Incredible Hulk number 180. We all know about this book. It's the cameo slash first appearance of Wolverine. Raw copies of this book sell for $1,030 for a potential 9.8 candidate. 9.8 sell for $8,500, a difference of $7,470. That's a big difference. If you were able to get this book at a great condition and get that graded, you'd make quite a bit of money. Next book up on our list is Star Wars number 42, the first appearance of Boba Fett, and I think the first appearance of Yoda, I could be wrong, but raw copies of this book have spiked, and this one is selling for $160, and then if you look at the 9.8 CGC recently sold, those are going to like $700, $540 is the difference. All right, everybody, so we're just past the halfway mark, and trust me, you're going to want to stick around because... The price difference at the very end of this, like I said, we take the grand total and we show you the total for 9.8s, the total for 9.6s as a bonus, and compare that to the total of the raw, my God, it's a big number and you're going to want to find out. But let's not waste any more time, let's jump back into the list. Next one up is Saga number one, Image, make sure first print, raw copies of this book sell for $190. 9.8 CGC copies of this book sell for $350, only a $160 difference. This one was a little bit closer than I thought. Batman number 77, a more recent book. This is the one where Alfred dies, apparently. Raw copies of this, only around 10 bucks. And then 9.8 copies of this are selling for around $60, only a $50 difference, but it is a very recent book. That's probably why. Next book up is Avengers number 257, the very first appearance of Nebula. Raw copies of this book are at $40 for potential 9.8 candidates. 9.8 CGC copies of this book right now are selling for $170. You're looking at a $130 difference. Next one up is Longshot number one. I've always liked Longshot, what's the deal? First appearance, raw copies of this one sell for like 25 bucks. And we have 9.8 CGC copies of this selling for $290. What a great investment. If you can get a raw copy for 25 bucks, sell it for 290, you make it a return of $265 minus the cost of the grading. We'll get to that a little bit later. Alpha Flight number 33 is next up on our list. Very first appearance of Lady Deathstrike. Raw copies of this, again, very small, only $10. 9.8 of this book sell for $195, a difference of $185. Small investment makes some money. Next one up is an oldie but a goodie, New Gods number one. This is a classic. If you have this one, you're lucky. Raw copies of this sell for around $700 for potential 9.8s. Kind of hard to get, to be totally honest. But a 9.8 copy recently did sell for $1,700, a difference of $1,000. Next one up is What If number 10. This is the whole Jane Foster Thor thing. We got this one at raw copies are spiking as well at $200. And then 9.8 CGC copies of this book recently sold for $775, a $575 difference. Last book up on our list is Uncanny X-Men number 266, the newsstand edition. First appearance of Gambit. Raw copies of this are selling for around 240 bucks. 9.8 CGC graded copies of this are selling for $750, a difference of $510. All right, everyone, so that's all 20 books. Let's crunch some numbers and see exactly what we're looking at for our totals. So right now, our total for raw for every single book is $6,165 if you went out and bought every one today. 
if you went out and bought 9.8 of all these books right now, you would have to spend $29,565, a difference of $23,400. And if you subtract the cost of grading for these books, which is around 900 bucks for all 20 books, we did an average of around $45, you're looking at $22,000. $500 in profit if you were to get all these books graded and they came back at a 9.8. Is that realistic? Hell no, it's not realistic, but man, it sure would be nice. Let's do a second and let's take a look at the 9.6s. We'll run those down really fast. Secret Wars number one, $9.6, $70. Amazing Spider-Man number 129, $9.6, $5,000. Contest of Champion, 9.6, number one, $50. Web of Spider-Man number one, $9.6, $60. Captain America number 241, $9.6, $140. Spawn number nine, $9.6, $30. Batman The Dark Knight Returns number one, $9.6, $190. Transformers number one, $9.6, $200. Black Hammer number one at a $9.6, only $50. Saga of the Swamp Thing number 37, 9.6, $400, that's pretty high. Incredible Hulk number 180, 9.6, $2,800. Star Wars number 42 for experience of Boba Fett, like I said, 9.6, $300. Saga number one, $9.6, $230. Batman number 77, $9.6, $30. Avengers number 257, $9.6, $69. Long Shot number one, $9.6, $70. Alpha Flight number 33, $9.6, $35. New Gods number one, $9.6, $650. What If number 10, $9.6, $300. And last one yet again, Uncanny X-Men number 256, Newsstand, $9.6. $255. So the grand total of all 29.6 CGC graded sold books is $10,929. If you go ahead and subtract the cost to buy those books in the raw, you're looking at $6,195 with a difference of $4,764. Subtract the cost to get it graded, like we said before, about $900, $45 average. You're looking at a difference of $3,000 eight hundred and sixty four dollars for all those nine point sixes compared to raw now i know that's a lot of information that we provided you guys and a lot of numbers that are coming across the screen but one more number i want to point out really fast if you compare the 9.6 to the 9.8 9.6 difference was three thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars and a 9.8 was twenty two thousand five hundred dollars that's why you want your books to be a 9.8 all right, everybody, let me know what you thought about this video. We're still trying to work out the kinks. There's some other things involved that we're trying to figure out as well. It'll get more defined as we go on. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you had any of these books, either graded, raw, 9.8, 9.6, and now you have a dollar figure to go along with those. You can share that down below also. All right, everybody, thank you so much for your time. This was a lot of fun. Looking forward to doing more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what to do. I'll see you next time. Bye.